What's up guys, this is RJ from RJ Tech HG, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. So, a lot's been going on, I've been gone for two months, and I'm going to get into the reason why in this whole entire video. So this may be a long video, I hope you can sit through it and watch everything, because this is a very important video. I have a lot to say and a lot to do with the demonetization stuff that's been going on for small YouTubers like myself, you know little old me so where do I begin I want to begin with my upload schedule so for those of you who may know I upload every Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. that stopped around January 27th of 2018 because I had a lot going on I had to focus on other things such as school I had to focus on doing other projects. I had to focus on graphic designing and getting clients. And I had to focus on my job. My previous job I was in, um, I'm no longer with that company no more. So I'm trying to look for a new job at the moment of this recording. And so far the search has gone pretty well. Um, I'm just waiting for some calls back. Hopefully I get some calls back, you know. So from my upload schedule, I was gonna upload from Saturday from every you know, every Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. to Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m. So, why is it earlier and why, you know, go to another day? So, I'm thinking, I've looked at, um, some, been doing some research on some YouTubers to upload on Sunday, and they get so many views, and they're, like, at my sub range, and they don't have many fans like I do. So, I'm wondering, what's drawing people in to watch YouTube videos on a Sunday? I'm still trying to figure it out now, but so far I've tried this effect in the past. I think my video is at 21,000 views now because uploaded around that day on a Sunday. It, it sounds kind of crazy if you're hearing it from my voice, but if you have to see how this actually happens, because I'm pretty sure a bunch of YouTubers uploaded yesterday about the S9 and their views, they skyrocket because it's because of the trends. The things that people would look out for the most and that's how I'm trying to make my channel as but as my own thing you know my own cycle of what I do on my YouTube channel but I'm not trying to make it more about technology because I used to do vlogs and I'm going to be explaining why I'm going to start doing vlogs on this channel as well and what I'm going to be doing as a different outlet for vlogging so basically yeah the upload schedule went from Saturday to 3 o'clock p.m. to Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m. So the time you're watching this video, it probably won't be out on a Sunday because, you know, I'm just getting back in the swing of things. I'm just going to be uploading this video to just update you guys on everything. That's why I titled this video, Channel Update 6.0, to update you on pretty much everything that happened during those two months and everything that I'm trying to do to get the channel back on track. So the next thing I want to talk about is demonetization day. So this was really difficult for me. Honestly, I was very upset about this at first because, like, I've been on YouTube for, uh, you know, at the time of this recording, I've been on YouTube for three years now. And the fact that my channel hasn't blown up at all makes me think it's probably something I'm doing or it's probably people that want to enjoy tech videos. So, I know it's not that. I know some people watch tech videos because you got people like MKBHE and stuff. They just... They basically make videos on phones and stuff, but I've honestly realized that why is it gonna talk about some more tech? They do, but I only see NKBHD doing that. He gets into you know the explanation of things like uh, Lennox Tech Tips does. So I'm like, okay, they do some tech stuff, but they mainly just focus on phones. They need to focus more on technology, you know, because it's called a Tech Channel for a reason. They made it more about smartphones, so it's more like a smartphone channel. You know, no hate on anybody because I love those channels. They kind of inspired me to get to where I am now on my YouTube channel at, I'm guessing it'll be 600 subs or, or more by the time it's recording. So, I'm just saying, that's just something I've noticed over the years while watching channels. channel. It's mainly been about smartphones and some other things, but it's mainly just been about smartphones. I want to try to be a tech channel that does everything literally about tech, photography, stuff like that. Something as long as you know, creative. I'm not gonna do vlogs no more. I'm gonna be, you know, getting into the reason why later on in this video. So, the monetization day. I was really upset about that at first because mainly because I've been on YouTube for three years now. I know those YouTubers out there have been around since like, ten years, or probably when the platform first started. I can understand that, but if you put out a lot of work and production of the videos, you're gonna get emotion because you know it's just. 
it's something that you work hard on and the fact they're just pulling away the money they're just taking it off completely it's gonna leave you feeling kind of bad it's like why are they doing this there are multiple reasons why i personally know why but it's, it's just my opinion so i'm not gonna get into that because i don't want to be dissing youtube or anything because at the same time they're doing the right thing because they're doing some good stuff but a majority of everything doing completely the opposite of what people are asking of them and that's really upsetting so yeah uh i was upset at first but now i'm feeling quite happy because you know you guys still see me uploading videos so that means i'm still gonna be grinding and get to 1000 subs i make over 4000 views you know watch me i make over that amount it's just that my subscribers be so small because there's a small fan base and stuff or i probably don't have any fans at all and that's why it's so hard for me to get more subscribers so think about that that's why most people aren't growing because the fan base is very small but people could be doing other things or be watching another channel and be growing because they probably do things that are more trending of the things people want to see compared to what you're doing as your own personal career or goal or hobby if that makes sense to any of you so that's that's pretty much my own part of the monetization day it's it upset me at first and then i learned to just go with the flow and keep uploading videos for you guys Hope you guys are proud of me because it took a lot of stress just to upload videos and I'm glad I updated all my gear. I did not have soft boxes before but recently I got soft boxes and I feel I'm very happy with my decision because I got new gear everywhere. I got two tripods, one right here and one right here. So I'm quite happy with the decision I made being a tech YouTuber because I never regret doing it. All right, next thing I want to move on to is rest, in, you know, rest in peace vlogs, basically. So, for those of you who are wondering why am I not doing vlogs no more, vlogs are a big part of why I started my channel. I wanted to like give you guys some, you know, tech vlogs and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, nobody watches them that much. The views get so low every time I upload. But when I upload a regular tech video, it gets like 800 views or probably 100 views. Something like that. It's in the 100s or 800s, something like that. But that's if it's not like a, if it's like a vlog. It's basically like 40 views or 30 views or sometimes with no likes or anything at all. And it just bothers me because it means like people probably don't care about the vlogs on a TED channel. I see on other channels because they're probably bigger than mine. So I guess that's the reason why. Who knows? Basically, that's it. That's the end of vlogs for my YouTube channel. I will be doing some type of vlog type format on Instagram stories because Instagram stories is actually a reliable source for doing vlogging like for a quick short time and people can still stay updated on what's going on in your daily life. That's just deciding if you want to go on Instagram stories. I would say Snapchat, but Snapchat has gotten way so much worse. I just don't want to go on that you know, social media platform anymore and just watch MKBHD's video to you know, figure out why People shouldn't be going on that app no more. It's just it's so different. It's more personal than using it for a business or a profit. You know, something like that. Something that's related to what you're going to be doing in your life. Something like that. That's what Instagram is going for. More business type of thing and more personal type of thing. Instagram is like the best thing right now, honestly. That's my opinion. So, yeah. Um, so, I am starting on doing a new series. A new series on my YouTube channel. It's called Legendary Setups. It was a thing before. But I stopped it due to school. School was getting really heavy back then, and I wasn't thinking. So now things are starting to light up so much for the next few months. I'm thinking of restarting legendary setups, and I don't have an exact date for you guys yet, but probably maybe in the summer, but I don't have an exact date yet. So I'll update you guys on my Instagram stories and my Twitter to stay, stay active, okay? And while we're at it, follow me. Ugh. Okay. While we're at it, follow me on all my social medias, which is at RJTechHD for pretty much everything on the web. RJTechHD, at RJTechHD for everything. Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Anything that I use that's linked below, go to the description below. I recommend you doing that. Alright, next thing I want to talk about is just, I got new gear. I have new soft boxes, I have two tripods, I am working on getting a new camera. So you're probably wondering, for the people who are probably old viewers, RJ, are you still focused on 4K? Are you still focused on the red? Stuff like that. I still have the red in my mind. I'm not gonna lie to any of you, it's cause I always wanted a red, not because of NKBHD, it's cause I always wanted to get into film and do video 
video and just doing video production of all these saw boxes and stuff in my room. It could be a good experience to upload tech videos. I don't know. It's just something that I want to try out and I never gave up on it. But I don't have money right now, so I'm going to try to go for a 1080p DSLR uh, from Canon. Switch it to the Canon fam because I, I've seen the, the quality on Canon cameras and they don't disappoint. They don't disappoint at all. Good lighting, uh, good sharp audio focus. It's just, it's great. That's why I like Canon so much. It got some really good qualities to it. So when I get the money saved up and get a new job, new company to work with, I'm going to save up my money and I'm going to do that. Another thing I want to talk about is the studio. I know, this isn't a studio, but what I'm talking about is when I move out of this house. When I move out of this house, I'm going to have a new place to call the studio. Or a new place to upload YouTube videos at. I don't want to disclose any more information except for that. It's just because it's like a lot of stuff needs to be sorted out with money and whatnot. So, that's, so you guys know, a little teaser. So, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long video, I know about probably 11 months or so I'm not really looking at the screen I was looking at looking at you guys you guys are important I may look at the screen a couple of times because I'm looking my, my good looking face you know what I'm saying but yeah love you guys so I have to stay focused on you guys so if you're wondering what soft boxes I got before I end this video I have the SD uh, soft boxes they're like budget soft boxes but they actually they're they're pretty good actually and I got the uh, zoom a uh, tripod I got my own fluid head on here that I had in the past I don't know if you can see it in the frame but yeah there's that right there more videos will be coming up more crispy reviews that I've already worked on before I uploaded this video so you guys got a lot to see it's gonna be crispy in 1080p 30 frames or I may might make it in a more cinematic form as I do know how to do videography and cinematography so I hope you guys enjoy those future reviews that are coming up because they look pretty good if you ask me I'm, I'm editing in Premiere Pro now I used to edit Sony Vegas Pro since this channel started I think yeah but yeah it's, it's Premiere Pro now 2018 and yeah okay so before i end this video guys make sure you give us a like if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and just look up for more content because i'm gonna be uploading every sunday at one o'clock p.m and yeah see you guys in the next video peace